Considerations for Case Creation Automation. My name is Paresh and this is episode 6. From a customer service standpoint, the reality is that a lot of times your agents aren't the ones that will always be creating the cases. Sometimes they might send an email into a queue or it might come from a different scenario. So a lot of times we might want to automate the process of case creation. So if you are someone who has the ability to make customizations to the system, we can create what we call as case creation rules. Now this is a little different as it is not done via the unified interface but through the traditional web client which you can access by clicking on the cog over here and go to advanced settings now this advanced settings is a sort of you know more aligned to the traditional web client that we used to have then i can click on the settings over here and then click on service management now in the service management you will see automatic record creation and update rules now automatic record creation and update rules are basically created where we want to convert any type of activity into specific dynamics 365 record so in this case i will go ahead and click on new now in this case i'm going to decide that this is going to be a support email to case so i'm going to call this email to case and over here i can decide what would be the source type so since this is coming from the email i will select email over here again i can use any type of custom activity in the dynamics but in this case i'm going to associate this with the email then when i know that this email is coming into a support queue then i can also specify the queue that i'm going to work with so in this case um, let me just type in support and search for it so we have the support queue so I will associate it, the support queue with this uh, rule over here. Now I can specify some additional details like do I want to create a record for emails from unknown senders or do I want to send automatic email response to the customers on uh, while well, you know the record is created. So I will select that yes and uh, select the email template to respond to. So over here I can choose uh, you know case auto response and then I will go ahead and save the record. So once I save the rule, what this has done is basically given me the ability to start adding rule items, which would be specific conditions that I'm looking for inside the rule itself. So over here in the section specify record creation and update details, you can start adding the rule items by clicking on add. So once this open up, I can call this as a high level support or emergency or something of that sort. So I can specify in the name over here as emergency and click on save. Now, once this is saved, it will provide me some more sections like conditions. I can add conditions, I can add actions and I can specify other actions as well. So let me just maximize this. Now I'm going to specify my condition. So this can pull up. Uh, information from you know the email that is coming in or the activity type that is coming in uh, or the you know the associated records as well so over here I can specify a condition where I can say okay the email that is coming in may have a subject uh, which contains uh, the word emergency for example so it's going to track an email that contains um, you know a subject which has emergency it can be any other conditions that you want to specify and after that I would like to say okay once that has been detected what I want to do so I'm going to add an action over here so I would say I would like to create a record so in this case I will say I would like to create a case uh, record and then I can go ahead and also set properties uh, for that case for example the case title will come from the subject of the emails over here I can specify you know the customer so we can say all right so we can say that the customer would be the account which is associated with the sender in the email and click on add and click on OK. And we can specify the origin, which in this case is an email. And then I can define any additional items that I want to, after which I can then click on save and close. So now I can go ahead and save and close this rule item. 
and the rule item will be um, available over here under specify record creation and update details. Now the point here is that once you have got your rule defined and saved your rule in the item, then you may want to create uh, different rule items for each scenario. For example, I can have email, which is not an emergency, but you know, it can be urgent or let's say low priority. Now, when I have multiple rule items over here, I can define the order in which I want these items to work with. So I can change the order as well by using the up and down um, arrow key over here. So now when I'm ready with my record creation and update rule, I can then go ahead and click on the activate button over here so that uh, this creation rule is activated in the system as and when the email arrives.